say digital photography and the digital camera, but that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, now, a lot of you might not know about this subject, and that's okay. Um, I remember my first digital photography class. I was a sophomore, and I'll always remember it because the teacher actually tossed his camera to a kid in the front row, and he dropped it, and it smashed, and it was a total awkward class after that. <laughs> so I won't be throwing this at anyone today, so that's good. Um, just a brief history of the digital camera. In 1969, William Boyle and George Smith invented the first CCD, which is a charge couple device, and it's a tiny sensor inside all digital cameras, and it's basically the heart of the digital camera. Um, in the 1970s, uh, uh, Dennis Dunleavy, a PhD, a PhD professor of photojournalism at San, San Jose University, said that the 1970s was known as the digital revolution, that the twin Kodak, RCA, and Canon were all competing to see who's going to be the first to translate light into digital images. And in 1975, according to NBC, in a 30 in a 30 year anniversary write up of the digital camera, uh, Kodak produced the first prototype. And there's some debate over this whether Sony actually wrote the first uh, made the first one. It's called the Mavica, but it was more like a digital video recorder. So Kodak kind of wins. Um, and in 1995, Kodak produced the first consumer digital camera, it was called the DC-40. Here's the, here's the uh, prototype right here, and here's the DC-40. Um, as you can tell, the first one was about the size of a small toaster, weighed about 8 pounds, took about 23 seconds to take one picture, and it ran off cassette tapes instead of memory cards, and just not very uh, attractive at all. Now I'm going to talk about how a digital camera works. There's three types. You have a uh, cell phone camera, uh, point and shoot, you know, like the Ashton Kutcher cool pics, and an SLR, which I'm going to be talking about. Now, SLR stands for single lens reflex, which basically means whatever you see in this viewfinder, the camera sees. You don't have to hold it up like those point and shoots. Now, as you can see, the light comes through, bounces off a mirror, up into a pencil prism, through the, and through the viewfinder. I'll take this off real quick. If I turn it on. When you're ready to take your picture, you can press the, the button. And this shutter right here is going to open. Now, I can set my shutter speed to how fast I want. Right now, it's at 4,000, which means it's going to open at 1 4,000 of a second. And uh, the light's going to hit. This is supposed to say a CCD, but this is the film model. But that CCD I was talking about, the tiny sensor, it takes the light in, translates it into pixels, and puts it on your memory card as a digital image. And that's basically the basics of how a digital camera works. If you want to know more, you can go to pctechguide.com. That gives a better in-depth in description of how it works. Um, digital photography in society, it's pretty popular. Um, Photography.com did a uh, survey that showed 82% uh, of users prefer digital to film. So, uh, big discrepancy there. And uh, CNET News did a uh, study that showed that uh, in 2005 to 2006, Digital camera sales went up 19%, and SLR cameras went up 39%. So it keeps growing every year. Uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics has uh, four jobs, or four, uh, that's supposed to be different, but uh, four types of jobs you can have in digital photography. You have uh, commercial and informative, which is basically like models, uh, ads, stuff like that. You have scientific, scientific pictures, National Geographic, Discover Magazine. Taking pictures for NASA, stuff like that. Uh, newspapers, uh, photojournalists taking pictures of events, sports, sporting events, stuff like that. And uh, the last one is fine art, which is basically taking pictures and selling it for money, like in a gallery and stuff like that. Um, here's a couple of examples of my photos. This is a bulb shot, which just means I open the shutter, I held the shutter for as long as I wanted. Kind of create this ghost effect. Uh, sports photography, I like sports, fast shutter speed, capture the action. This one of my favorites right here. This is Michael Phelps. It's also in California. Uh, freeze the frame, um, capture a moment of significance. This is the Clemson Maryland game, national anthem. And capture the moment, sums it up. It can make you laugh. This is the picture I did for a uh, Swim club contest, your best picture in the speedo, and the snowpocalypse we had. I think he won. So. Uh, 
Uh, looking at photos is all about perspective. Anyone coming to seeing that picture? Well, I've had teachers tell me it reminds them of the Christianity fish. You see them back in cars all the time. Um, and you got to remember, all store, all um, photos have a story. Uh, this is a ha picture of a house that burned down by my house. I had my camera on, camera with me, so I took a picture. And then I found out the next day a woman actually died in that uh, fire. So you got to remember, there's always a story behind a picture. So um, in conclusion, uh, digital photography and digital cameras are continuously developing field. There's always new stuff coming out. Um, it's easy to do, regardless of type. And it's a fun way to express yourself, so I recommend that everyone give it a try. And that's something.